Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. Now in this video, what I wanted to talk to you about was fidget spinners. These little toys that you've been seeing everywhere, all over YouTube, um, and other YouTubers have been getting tons of views making videos about them, so I thought, might as well get me some views as well. But in this video, I wanted to discuss something a bit different, and the reason why, not only will I get shitloads of views for this, which is awesome, also, I keep getting questions about it. Now, if you follow me for any uh, amount of time, you'll know that I import products from China, right? I import all different kind of unbranded stock from China, put my brand on it, and sell it on Amazon, make a profit, right? I've done over a million dollars in sales, uh, selling stuff on Amazon. A large chunk of that was from imported stock. So people, the first thing that people often ask me uh, when I bring up what I do is, hey, how about you import some of those fidget spinner things, sell them on Amazon, they're really hot right now. And they're saying, well, maybe you're already doing it. Surely you've caught onto this trend, you know, this trend of fidget spinners. Um, is it working for you? Stuff like that. Well, I wanted to tell you my answer when people ask me if I'm importing fidget spinners. Like, uh, because basically, to break it down to you simply, contrary to popular belief, it's really not a good idea to import these things. And here's why. If you wanna fail selling on Amazon, first of all, pick a product that's gonna fizzle out quickly, right? Because let's face it, fidget spinners, yeah, they're big now. Next week, they're probably gonna be gone or you know, give it a month or two, then it's gonna be onto the next big craze, right? So I'm not gonna build a sustainable business selling these things ever, but that's not the only issue. If you're selling products on Amazon, ideally you'll be selling stuff where there's a huge demand, like people wanna spend money on it, and fidget spinners have that, right? Everyone wants to buy these things at the moment, but that's not the only piece of the puzzle. You also wanna find products where there's a low supply. Okay, so there's got to be a high demand, loads of people buying it, but a low supply. And then you can fit yourself in and add value to the marketplace, make the place better, offer better products and make money selling this stuff. Now, fidget spinners, there's a huge demand, or well, there will be for the next couple of weeks, right? But there's also a huge supply. The marketplace is saturated. So the short answer is fidget spinners aren't going to make you much money. You might get, you know, a couple bucks selling a few of them, but everybody's prices keep going down. You'll see these things are gonna be selling for like 50p in like two weeks where no one cares about them anymore. And if you're entering into a marketplace where you can't add value because everybody's covered all the bases, there's people selling packs of three fidget spinners, you know, all different shapes and sizes, there's no way to differentiate. When you're in a marketplace like that, the only way to differentiate is to offer a cheaper price. So the prices are gonna keep coming down and then the, the trend is gonna fizzle out and then no one's gonna buy them anymore. So the answer is no, you cannot um, make money from these things. But what can we learn from this? What can we learn from this example? Well, instead of looking for products where there's a huge demand and a huge supply, find those products where there's a huge demand but a low supply, where there's room to fill gaps, um, where you can differentiate from the other sellers, offer something new, something different, something better, so customers have a reason to buy your product over the load of other Amazon sellers selling their product. Keep that in mind when you're importing stuff and you'll never go wrong. You'll always come out on top. Your products will always sell. Now, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, in the description, I've actually put a link to my brand new book, How to Build an E-Commerce Portfolio. You can grab it, there's a link down there. Um, it's only like five bucks or whatever. And it's got some um, really, really crucial elements of strategies I use to choose products to sell on Amazon. Um, you can grab it, super cheap. Uh, check it out. And I'm sure you'll get a lot of value from it, probably more than you'll see in some really expensive courses that some people sell out there. So it's definitely worth a read. Thanks so much for watching. Um, hit like, subscribe. I'll be doing more videos soon. Um, stay awesome. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care.